another episode of Sunday Sim. We are here with myself, Miss Remy May, and of course, the bestest mother in the whole wide world, my mother, Mrs. Brewer, aka Grandma Brewer. <laughs> yes, we, we see the first princess don't like nobody getting any other attention, but she just gonna have to share it a little bit with Grandma. So it is almost Thanksgiving time. So that means that we need to do a sim that has some Thanksgiving type food involved because we know we love edible stem, don't we, Mrs. Yes. Oh, we yes. we love it. And May loves it, even though she gets mad at me right before recording when I tell her she can't eat the stuff. Um, but generally, she at least loves the smell. So for this particular project, you will need a few more materials than we usually deal with. Um, you will need a big bowl so you can mix everything in. You'll need some cornstarch, and more specifically, the reason why you see these two measuring cups there is because you will need three cups of cornstarch, all right? You will also need some jellied cranberry sauce. Mm. You will need some measuring cups because you're going to need some water, but you're only going to need a fourth of a cup of water. So we got our water here. Um, you will need a knife to cut your cranberry sauce but of course as you can see we went safe plastic plastic will suffice um and yes we also have a tray down here because you are going to get messy now something else that you can utilize to try to cut down on the mess is a wooden spoon to stir everything but if you know anything about slime and ooh black you already know it's going to be best done if you get in with your hands so as you can see i took my watch off i took my rings off because i i fully expect that we're going to get down and dirty all right so First and foremost, if you've never heard of oobleck, oobleck is pretty much just like slime. And the interesting thing about slime is that we know that there's three states of matter. We have solids, liquids, and gases. So, give an example. This right here, this Pyrex glass bowl that we have, it's pretty solid, right? Um, unless we use extreme force, it will not break. Miss May's bones. Those are pretty solid. She has to have a lot of force um, or a lot of pressure in order to break those bones. Um, these measuring cups, solid. All right. Um, however, we have other states of matter that are like liquid. So water, we see how water has all this flexibility. It can move around things. It can break other things down, but you can't quote unquote, break water like you could break this Pyrex bowl or like Miss May could break one of her bones or like we can break these measuring cups. And last but not least, we have gas. And of course, gas, sometimes we can smell it. Very rarely can we see it, but it is not something that we can reach out and just, ooh, I'm touching gas. That can't and won't happen. So when it comes to slime and ooh black, it's one of those things, uh, it's not really a solid and it's not really a liquid, May. So it is a phenomenon in that sense of it's not a gas, it's not a liquid, it's not a solid, but we know it exists because we can touch it, we can see it, we can make it. So it's like one of those things of, oh my goodness, it refuses to fit inside a small box. All right, but that's what we're going to make. So by all means, let me also preference and say this. Do not, I repeat, do not take the cranberry sauce that your parents are going to use for Thanksgiving dinner and say, hey, mama, mm -hmm. as a surprise, I just wanted to make a creation because then you might get in a little bit of trouble. All right, so let's go ahead and, and kick it off. So we have three cups of our cornstarch. So we're gonna begin by putting our three cups of cornstarch in our big bowl. Try to make sure you get all of it. Now, Oobleck is very forgiving, let's say, or very merciful. And what I mean by that is don't worry if you feel like you don't have the measurements exactly correct. It, it is a-okay. Ooh, black will be there for you. Now, what I like to do is put some of the cornstarch in, not all of it, and then follow back up with the rest. So, um, with the cranberry sauce that we have here, you only need half of it. So, we're going to go ahead and cut it in half. 
Oops, I did it sideways. Look. Who else loves the smell of cranberry sauce? Now, just to help me with the mixture, I am going to cut it into like little squares. And once again, this is just to help because I'm going to mix all of this together. And of course, we know that this is jelly right now. So think just like uh, any other jelly that you have. It's a not necessarily a full-blown solid, but it gets liquidy real quick. And as you might can see already, some of the mess has began. So if you were looking for a messy uh, STEM project, this is it right here for you. All right, so we have our cranberries all in there. And look at my hands already. Ah. All right, and now I should have did this before my hands got all jumbled up but now we are going to measure one fourth of a cup of water once you have your one fourth cup of water guess what we're gonna do guess what we're gonna do with it may yeah we're gonna put it right on in there all right into the bowl all righty so, and I'm going to move some of these things so you all will be able to see what I'm doing a little bit better. And how about I can move this because we're done with water. I'm going to put this on top of our tray. And there we go. Now you guys can see more. All right. So, and what you'll notice is already... The consistency, it's going to seem like that cornstarch with that water got kind of hard already. All right, so we are mixing up. And this is the reason why, oops, sorry, man, why I said that it's kind of better to go ahead and do it with your hands because you can get in there more. So you're going to crumble it all up. Because right now, what's going to help you get everything that you need is that you're munching up or getting all that jelly to come into liquid form. And you can already kind of see that where our concoction is forming. So, and now we, we can feel that uh, kind of the solid properties, if you will, of Ooslac. Uh, it will definitely give you a workout. This is one of those also STEM experiments that you want to make sure that you're time conscious. So, you literally do not have time to waste in terms of being like, oh, well, I forgot this, I forgot that. Because, yes, your Ooslac will get very very hard and now if you so happen to want more of a slimy type oo black so as you can see we're, we're getting a pretty uh heavy consistency if you want something that's a little bit lighter all you have to do is add more water you can either add more water or especially if you like the pinkish color um you can add more cranberry sauce Gonna get some more cranberry sauce and put in so remember we started with one half so i'm gonna put a fourth in. <laughs> and remember you don't have to do it the way that i'm doing it this is just to help me as i am mushing everything together i like to go ahead and cut it up and put it in you know, small little blocks. And you'll start to kind of feel the juice a little bit coming out. But go ahead and doesn't it just look so amazing? All right. And now I'm going to put some more water in here too. So remember, if you want it to be more of a loose type. I'm not feeling like I. As, as I'm mixing everything, I'm getting everything all over the living room. If you want to be more of a loose concoction, 
So kind of like that bottom. Then you want to add more water and more cranberry juice. Ooh, you yeah. see it, babe? So once again, when you feel it, when it's in your hand, it feels as though, as though it's a solid. However, we know that generally only liquids do things like this, right? And now as your hand is in the bowl, you'll also notice that it also feels like quicksand in the sense of when your hands go in there, it's almost like it does not want to let go. Um, so I know many of you, this is the part that you absolutely love. <laughs> in terms of how your oobleck turns out, it's 100% dependent upon basically your churning skills if we were acting like this was butter your mixing skills and just how determined you were and quickly moving so may <laughs> she wants to taste it oh, and now look watch <laughs> may's looking like what on earth is happening <laughs> Oh, how does that look? Does this look like some good ooh black? All right. So, if you like that consistency, you can stay exactly wh where you are. Um, so, remember, opposed to just using one half of the cranberry sauce, I use basically three-fourths. Um, so, I still have a fourth uh, of the can left. And in terms of water, opposed to just using one-fourth of a cup, I've used the whole cup of water and those were our only ingredients oh and our cornstarch how much about how much do we have uh, we left still have about a fourth of a, a fourth of one cup yes all right so that means that we use the grand total of two and three fourths of cornstarch so we're going to slowly add in the last bit of the cornstarch and now when we do that unfortunately because our consi our consistency is going to get thicker it's not going to look exactly like this. It's going to more so be like Play-Doh. All right, you guys ready? All right, Mrs. Brewer. So one thing that you, you will notice, if you are the only person that is mixing everything together, yes, this is a nice little workout because you'll begin to notice that it's going to start to get tough. And it's going to be times where you're just going to be like, oh, my goodness. So this is why I am very much so an advocate of saying take it step by step so you can find what's a good place for you. What um, What's the consistency that you like? And then that way it's easier that if you get to the point where you're tired, you can stop with your experiment still being intact and you still having something to show for it. <laughs> I'm going to keep churning away and then I'll take a picture and show you our final outcome. But once again, this is an easy Thanksgiving themed or I should say Thanksgiving food themed uh, STEM experiment that you can try at home. Once again, all you need is some jellied cranberry sauce, cornstarch, water, a uh, spoon or and knife and then of course something to go ahead and concoct your oobleck in to mix in so i hope you guys enjoyed um once again i'll show you a picture of our final product but as you can see i'm still going to keep churning away so hope you guys have fun and feel free to subscribe like and comment below go ahead and if you can upload the pictures of your cranberry oobleck let us see it let's see what color it turned out yeah. what type of consistency you got going and you can also follow us on instagram as well as here on uh youtube so we look forward to hearing from you guys and once again thank you for tuning in all righty and a few moments moments later and we have our completed blue black so as we can see it looks like it's it's moving but when you stick your fingers in mm. once again it's almost like quicksand because you guys here trying to come up off the table so no more is it being gooey because we didn't add any more water but once again, it's almost like quicksand. So, and after you le let it sit for a while, it'll go back to as if nothing was on top of it. And May, would you like to be a part of this? So, Grandma, can we get May to get her paw in the quicksand? Or I said in the quicksand, in the oobleck just a little bit. 
<laughs> Meg's like, uh uh, I, I saw that thing. Take your head. So, guess what? I'm going to try to hold it up really fast so you guys can see it. Oh, you'll watch me put my hand in there. <laughs> no, she says, no, not today. Not today. So, as I stick my hand in, it slowly goes down. Look, Miss May watching, like, what's going on? And then when I try to take it out, look what's happening. <laughs> And once again, it's going to go right back to, like, I just didn't stick my hand in it. So I still have a, a, a little gooeyness left. So this is a great activity that maybe you got cousins coming over. You guys can go ahead and make some cranberry oobleck. Remember, if you want to keep it more uh, loose in terms of its consistency, so you want it to be a little bit more like slime, then don't add as much cornstarch. Go ahead and once again, just like I said, take it piece by piece, little bit by little bit. So maybe start with a half a cup, then go on to a whole cup. Um, but once you get it to the place that you want it, go ahead and stop. And then say, congratulations, we made oobleck just like we like it. I personally, I do like it being a little gooey, but I also enjoy it with the quicksand. So I'm going to see if I can uh, trick Miss May in putting her paw in here. It seems like as of right now that that's not going to happen. Let me try one last time. No. Uh, she like, no. Nah. Because <laughs> <laughs> so from her angle, what she's able to see is that my hand goes down and then she's seeing me like moving it up and kind of being like, why that stuff got your hand, mama? I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> but it also mm, has a really good smell. Yeah, she and she wants to taste it. Right. As you can see, uh, she wants to taste it too. Um, technically, there's nothing toxic that is in Oobleck. Um so, yeah, it technically is edible, but I would say just play with it and then throw it out. Yeah. All right, so thank you for joining us. Once again, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. We look forward to hearing from you. And until next time, ta! Bye-bye. <laughs>